a Miss Shoemaker. You brought this case before the court. What's going on? Um, I want to increase child support. That's it? Yes, ma'am. That's all I'm bringing him to court for. I need more, I need more funds. Sorry, Chase. Based on what, excuse me, sir. Please don't. What was that you just said anyway? Sack chaser. Sack chaser? What is that exactly? Chasing the sack. She worried, she worried about my money. Okay. Um, I think that's the purpose of coming to court for an increase. I'll take care of kids anyway. But it, you know, okay. Miss Shoemaker, what is the basis of your request for an increase in child support? One, we work for the same school uh, together, but I'm a janitor and I make the bare minimum of like nine fifty. Okay. Um, I take care of the kids. We both take care of the kids. We got two, two, five, five. Um, but we have other activities like my, our daughter is in gymnastics. Okay. She's in cheer. How old is she? She's six. Okay. And they also in private school. Okay. Um, who pays for the extracurricular activities? I do. Okay. How much is that? Uh, we're running about three fifty a month for both children. Okay, and how old is the other child? Uh, he's three. Okay, three and six. How much is private school? Uh, between the both of them, one is twelve hundred, and then the other one is four fifty. Okay. And you pay for the tuition as well. I do. All right. Is he helping you at all? Um, he pays the bare minimum. I try to handle this outside of court, but. I don't know what's his issue. Um, he pays the bare minimum of child support, so I just want to increase. So if he's just going to be paying the bare minimum, the minimum at least needs to be half. Okay. How does she afford all that on a $9.50 an hour? This is the worst mess. She can't afford private school, so they need to go to public school. If she insists, then she should pay. This is just pure jealousy. The court should not entertain this mess. Now watch as she exaggerates unnecessary demands by using her kids so that she can get more money on child support. And what is it that he's currently paying? Um, about $500, $500 a month. All right. What about health insurance on these kids? Who carries that? We both do. Okay. All right. How much is yours? Uh, 300 300 All right. Okay. Is there anything else you want me to know before I move over to him? Um, no, ma'am. No, oh. ma'am. Okay, sir. First of all, your majesty. Uh, five Your majesty, I like that. Uh, five. <laughs> uh, five hundred dollars is not a bare minimum. And then I pay insurance on top of that, you add that to 800. Right, so the kids are double insured, that's good. All right, so what about this tuition and these extra extracurricular activities? She's six year old, she can't barely do no flipping. Excuse me? What does that mean? She ain't doing no flip. How she, she ain't learning no gymnastics like that that good. She better learn how to do cartwheels right now. Oh, you're talking about your daughter. Yeah. As, as a three-year-old, he ain't, oh, no, he ain't. He ain't even in private school. How are he in private school? He's three. Is they that early preschool? School? Yeah, oh, they have that man. for three-year-olds. So I'm, because you're saying all of that, that lets me know you're not paying for it, right? <laughs> I, I paid what the court told me to pay. So the answer to my question is no, then. You're not paying for the extracurricular activities or the private tuition. Is that correct? Or go in half. The child support says I just do what they told me to do and I give the $500 a month. That ain't very minimal. That, that's almost a car note or a one or two pairs of a You don't believe that you don't believe that the private school tuition is important? No, she go to public school. I went to public school. I'm just fine. Mm. Okay, so you all are doing a 2255 schedule, right? Is that correct? Okay. In your court order, was that the original agreement? No. Okay. I just moved closer so I uh, be around them more. Well, that's good. That's good. And with you moving closer, then you would agree with me that you should also help support them financially if their expenses have increased, right? The only reason uh, you could say yeah. Well, what does that mean? Uh, what, what is, yeah, speak. You could, say, you could say that, but now, nah, some of the things they don't need to do. Her current salary clearly cannot afford all the things the kids are into, so she needs to scale back a bit. Instead, she wants more of his money. Three and six-year-old kids, what is the three-year-old doing that is extracurricular in that private school? Listen, just like he said, they can go to public school, and on top of that, he moved closer to spend more time with them. He shouldn't have to pay for decisions she made for their daughter. Why should he pay for a private school or gymnastics anyway? Those are things I wouldn't waste my money on. Private school was a personal decision, 
which she alone made without consulting the father. You pay for it yourself. He was following what he was told to pay. You want a luxury lifestyle? You go to work and pay for it yourself. What extracurricular activity does a three-year-old do for $450 a month? What private school does he attend? It's her choice to go private, so he shouldn't be held financially accountable for her decisions. Like what? I can teach you how to flip at the house. But you don't. I got but he don't. Okay. Do do, I can teach you how to flip at the house. But he don't. Sir, sir, are you a gymnastics instructor? No, but my cousin, he know how to do backflips. He, he, he walk on his hands. Your cousin? Yeah, he 40 years old. He walk on his hands. He can teach me all that. We don't need all that. <laughs> Hey, hold on, this shit ain't funny. It ain't funny, but it is. Okay, has he taught him that yet? I ain't been around yet. All right, and I he's not a licensed instructor, right? No. Nah. Okay, so then it would logically follow that the child would need to be taught by someone who's licensed. You would agree? Yeah. And that person needs to be paid. You would agree? <laughs> Boy, y'all stacking the deck on me. But don't really, Who's stacking the deck on but you? The only reason why she's mad because I'm getting engaged. Oh, no. That's the only reason why So now it's coming out. Yeah. I asked you, was there no, anything else you I'm wanted to tell me before I moved over to him? Why don't you tell me he got engaged? I'm not bitter about none of How that. How long ago did you get engaged, sir? About three months ago. And, I feel and you found this about money. three months ago. Let's talk about that. Yeah, let's talk. <laughs> let's Judge. talk about the engagement. So he did get engaged. I mean, I don't know what his status is. I don't keep up with all that. It's it's such a coincidence that you filed this three months ago and he said he got engaged three months ago. Hmm. Um, so you knew about the engagement, right? I did not. I, okay. I, I, I did, but not three months ago. Oh, okay. Yes. Who is the lady? Oh, we, we all work together. Oh, it's somebody you know. Ooh, so you hurt her feelings. No, I didn't hurt her feelings. She just couldn't, you know. Ma'am, hey. peace community. You know what the rest is. He's, he's for Community. Every, he for everybody. Oh, so I, I, he, I was for the streets, but I'm not no more. We ain't the only two people. Judge, we, we not the only two people he ain't slept with. I, I was for the streets, So I'm, I'm not, not no concerned more. about any of that. I need my money, and if possibly hers. Too. Your money? Yeah, I need my money. Wait a minute, you said hers too? Yeah. I, I told you. Yeah. You can't get her money. Marriage, whatever they gonna do, arrangement. You can't I get her it. money hmm. for child support. When they get married, I can't. What? Oh, okay. Well, see, that has nothing to do with me right now. Mm -hmm. So, sir, I think it's only fair that you all should split the expenses for the private school tuition as, as well as the extracurricular activities, okay? Her current salary clearly cannot afford all the things the kids are into, so she needs to scale back a bit. Instead, she wants more of his money and the new lady's money. And just the audacity of her saying that to the judge is appalling and disgusting. Obviously, as soon as she had that he is engaged to her colleague, she went straight to the court to apply and file for a child support increase. And she thought she is slick for putting all these money demands of her kids so that the court can strain the man to pay more. This is clear to me, this judge is on her side, but what happens next will shock you. I, I do believe that you. warrants an increase. Now, your court order, everything has changed, right? You said you moved. You were doing a different schedule. You moved to get closer to your kids, right? Yes, ma'am. That's a change. Thank and you. And these children are involved in curricular activities. They're also going to a private school. You'd agree with me that that's kind of expensive, right? That's about $2,000 a month. You're only paying 500. So she's fronting the other 15. But we work for the school. We could really homeschool them because we, everything they learn about. Are you going to be at the house homeschooling them with a, Mr. IT? That's a good question. I, a I know a lot of teachers that wouldn't want to be at home homeschooling their children and working as a teacher. I mean, if he's willing to pay while I sit at the house and homeschool our children, I'm, I'm down. I got another cousin that was real smart in school. And she you know, you have a lot of family members <laughs> that do a lot of things and they have nothing to do with this case. So let me just go ahead and make this very simple. How many children? You all have two children. We have two children. Do you have any other children, yeah, any I, other children outside of the two? I got one more. One more? Okay, why did you say it like that? Might be on child support for that one too. Oh, so you're coming back to see me? Yeah. Okay, well we'll handle that when we get to that particular case. For today, what I'm going to do is go ahead and split the cost that she's paying. 
So you. it's $2,000. Y'all are going to split it evenly. $1,000 for you, $1,000 for you. So your child support increased by $500 and you are both ordered to maintain that same health insurance. Thank you, Judge. You're welcome. Did you all have any other questions? Mm. Nah. I see you had your pen and paper over there. You were I did, just in case he had an issue or what's going on. I was just going to name a few things that my kids are involved in. Oh, you brought your not, receipts. That's right. Yes, oh, ma'am. okay, got it. That he's got not it. paying for it, correct? Oh, okay, okay. Mom, what about when I asked you to babysit because you was going out and I want $25 Wait to Wait a minute, babysit, babysit I mean, who? Babysit your other who? child or the children that you all had together? The ones we got together. You, she can't babysit her no, own I'm kids. No, I'm asking to babysit her so she can go I, I babysit while she can go out. But do I call you for that or do I set that up with no, a sitter? No, I was, I was trying to give you the time yourself. We cannot come I've already made my ruling, so, oh, you know, y'all yeah, okay. Thank I you, I can Josh. sit here and listen to you. I appreciate you. <laughs> okay. Did you all have any other questions? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay, well, if there's nothing further, you all are dismissed. Thank you. You're welcome. This woman needs to act her wage and live within her means and budget. Everything that she says she's paying for are luxuries, not necessities. It don't make no sense how evil women are when a man goes on with his life and find another woman who's on his level and take it seriously with her. And the baby mama gets mad and takes child support on him. If this woman is so strapped for cash, she must drop the private tuition and extracurricular activities. And also what is crazy to me is that the dad doesn't get a say in whether or not the kids go to private school or what extracurricular activities they do, but he has to pay for half of it. That doesn't really sound right. I understand an increase, but to pay for half of expenses that you didn't agree to them enrolling in sounds wrong. Who can afford $1,200 a month for private school for a six-year-old? That's insane. 